happy Navaratri everyone. During Navaratri, we cultivate deep reverence for the divine feminine power. Nava Ratri. Nava means nine, Ratri means night. During the nine days and nights goddess, Durga is honored in her various forms. And simultaneously, we honor the three dimensions of Durga, Lakshmi, and Saraswati. And if for any reason you couldn't participate in any Navaratri celebrations or you couldn't do the spiritual practices yourself for the entire time, do it at least in the last three days of Navaratri. These are the most significant days. Any sincere and serious spiritual seeker can progress tremendously during Navaratri on the spiritual journey. So it's a journey up the chakras. And the last three days are connected with transcendence, highest divine wisdom. Goddess Saraswati is associated with wisdom, divine knowledge, self-realization. She is also associated with language, with speech, arts, music, and she's known under different names such as Buck Devi. And many artists and poets and singers evoke her for inspiration and guidance. And um, the eighth day of Navaratri is known as Ashtami, Durga Ashtami or Maha Ashtami. And this is where the energy of Durga reaches its peak. The legend goes like this, that there was a powerful demon that no one could defeat. So all the gods came together, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, and they have combined the forces and they have transferred it to Durga. They have created Durga and they have given her all the power to fight the battle with this demon Mahishasura. And it is believed that she has defeated him on the eighth day. And it represents victory, victory over adverse appearances. So you can see Navaracha as an opportunity to transform your own negative patterns, such as sabotage patterns, procrastination, lack of determination, lack of willpower and strength and resilience to make the necessary shifts. This is Durga. So she pushes the energy up so that, that we have the strength, the confidence to do what we're meant to do from the perspective of our soul, not from the perspective of our ego. And if you would like to learn more about Navaratri, you can also find more information um, on my website. It's erika-inspiration.com and I have recorded also many videos. And I do something that is called Soul Plan Readings where I assist individuals to connect with the spiritual gifts, to activate the spiritual talents so that they reach the spiritual goal and the soul destiny. And what happens when our focus begins to shift from the worldly material goals to the spiritual goal, we automatically begin to serve the greater whole. And this is where true fulfillment happens. This is also the fast track to spiritual evolution to serve others. Durga means in Sanskrit a place where negative forces can, can't reach you anymore. She is invincible because she, she can overcome all the negative tendencies or, or she can assist um, individuals to overcome the battles, usually it's the inner battles, right, where we are often very protective um, and uh, we like to shield ourselves from the negative 
tendencies or energies in the world. But what is even more important is, is that we cultivate the inner purity from within. And this is where Goddess Saraswati, that is honored in the last three days of Navaratri comes in. But of course it requires a tremendous amount of effort and commitment and determination and dedication from our side to reach to reach this place. And this is what the Navaratri portal is all about. Thank you so much for watching this impulse. I wish you once again a very, very happy and victorious Navaratri and a very happy Doga Ashtami because I'm recording this impulse on the eighth day of Navaratri Doga Ashtami.